Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to Let's Play Morrowind, where I am joined once again by my furry friend, Colin. Oh, he's on the desk next to me. He's sitting at me, looking at me reproachfully because I just came in and ejected him from my office chair, which he'd stolen. I was out of the room for two minutes and he nicked my chair because of course he did. He's a cat. Um, well, I've now moved him onto his bed on the desk and now he's sort of staring at me like, meh. Anyway, if you hear tingling bell noises, as usual, it's just him sitting there grooming himself and fidgeting about, as he is wont to do. He's grooming himself at the minute because he's just had his dinner. So, anyway. <clears throat> Previously on Let's Play Morrowind, we uh, facilitated the assassination of Duke Vadim Dren, who was actually kind of a cool character. I kind of personally, as a player, I liked Vadim Dren. On the other hand, Fathis... I think probably respected him, but was just sort of like, yeah, we definitely need him to die because he's too clever. Um, so, Vadim Dren is dead, and we've replaced him with his, um, with his seemingly uh, manipulable, is that a word? I don't know. Seemingly easily manipulated daughter, Ilmeni. But, and we framed Va uh, Orvis Dren for it as well, which is just grand, but, uh, the thing is, the thing is, and these vines are just a safety hazard, aren't they? The thing is, um, there's still more to be done because the council is in uproar. The Halalu and the Red Arans are drawing swords, potentially about to go to war with each other. So we as House Telvani must step in as mediators and ensure that uh, nothing goes terribly wrong. And uh, we've suggested that they use the Telvani Consulate um, to sort uh, their affairs out, which is all going to be facilitated facilitated by Demania, our um, House Telvani underling, who just happens to have quite good relations in the other houses as well. It just occurred to me that maybe we ought to keep an eye on her, but you know. Uh, yeah, and we were told to come back in a day, So, and it's been a day, so we're going to just recall now and see how she got on. Hell many. With the council. Hello. Any time now. Don't need him listening in. Archmagister of House Telvani, welcome. And thank you for coming. I have presented our plan to the Grand Council. They are still undecided if it will be of any use. But they have accepted Demania as a mediator. I think that it's best we could have the best we could have hoped for in this situation. I'm willing to give it a try, and Demania is willing to accept the challenge as well. That is good news. I'm sure that Demania will be able to put put oil on those on troubled waters. If anybody can do it, it's Demania. Thank you for your assistance, Arch Magister. I don't mean to be rude, but would you please leave me now? I need to attend to a lot of things. And I am already behind schedule. Alright, the Grand Council has accepted my plan to instate Demania as mediator. It seems that everything is working as intended. I should return to Sadrith Mora and attend to some other important matters, like tightening Telvani organization, for instance. Devil does that mean? Your Grace, I take my leave. Okay. So now what does the advisor want us to bloody do? That's the question. Uh... Here we go. Council House. Right. Greetings, Arch Magister. We seem to have a problem. The man you has urgently requested to see you. I don't think this bears any delay. Oh, goody. All right, now what? Is there anything underwater around here? No. It occurred to me I'd never bothered to check. I was thinking maybe maybe there's a secret portal or something, you know. 
be a good place to put one. I assume she's wandering down upstairs. Ah, here you are. Excellent. Well met, friend. Archbanter, good to see you. There's an emerging uproar within the Grand Council. El Elmeni is having trouble appeasing House Lalu's councilman. It seems that their support for Elmeni's new pro-Telvani politics is teetering on a knife edge. She hasn't sent for you yet, but you should talk to her immediately. All right, then. Me again. Hello, uh, Duchess. Archmagister, you have come at just the right time. I have recently had a discussion with the Halalu Councilman, and they are deeply concerned about your involvement in Vardenfell's politics. I know that it is unfounded, but they feel that House Telvani may be gaining too much influence on Halal at Halalu's expense, especially with that Telvani consulate sitting on Ebonheart's Rock. Well... What can I do to convince them of House Telvani's sincerity? I mean, you're Grand Master of House Lalu, so how can Lalu lose influence? I agree with you, Archmagister, but the councilmen are concerned nonetheless. Oh, I wish my father were still around. They wouldn't question his word. You know, many has having trouble with uh, House Lalu's councilmen. They believe that House Telvani is gaining too much influence. Uh, yes, let's go talk to Demania about this. Boopity boo. Ahem, <clears throat> excuse me. You must travel fast in Tamriel, what with the, all the teleportations, magic stuff going on, you know. Uh. Oh, that's not what I meant to do. Divine intervention. <laughs> Levitate. That the bit of coast. Do you know there's a part of Fathis that right now would actually wouldn't wouldn't mind just disappearing into the swamp to raid a few tombs and caves for a while. It was never his modus operandi before he was released from prison and came to Vardenfell. What he's doing right now is the kind of thing that he did for a living before he was imprisoned by the Imperials. But now, oddly enough. I think he finds himself wishing he was out there in the wilderness for a while, wearing his dusty old robe, battling smugglers in caves on the coast. Anyway, uh, Tamania, would you Stay stop walking like around, friend. woman? It would be a privilege to talk with you. I've already heard it through the Great Brian. House Lalu's councilmen are concerned about me and House Telvani gaining too much influence. I'm doing my very best to convince them otherwise, but I fear they won't be persuaded. If there was only a way that the late Duke could support our plans, how about forging his handwriting on a corresponding draft law? Should consult my advisor. All right then. See you later, Demania. Oh, useless bloody advisor. What is he going to suggest now that's going to get us in trouble, eh? What's it going to be this time? It's going to be some, some calligraphy expert that ends up right, using the wrong handwriting. Greetings, Arch Magister. What is the news from Ebonheart? You explained how Slalu's internal struggle and mentioned Demania's plan to forge a letter in support of the late Duke Dren. Forge a letter? I know something better. You see, I asked Uvu to craft a magical mask. The mask is a boon from the Daedra Prince Namira, who has an adept talent for spirit glamour. It will give its wearer the features of a deceased person. When you're wearing it, you will look like Duke Dren and sound like Duke Dren. You shouldn't overuse it, as impersonating someone's dead relative can only be a revolting thing if you apply morals. Oh well. Nomira is the queen of instinctive revulsion, and I don't think I need to tell you about morals among us Telvani, do I? The mask should be let safe enough to wear, although I admit a lot of Nomira's artifacts have transformed their wearers into piles of goo. I suggested all 
I, I guess it all depends on the wearer's willpower. Uvu should have completed the mask by now, so I suggest you pay him a visit. I will. And while I'm gone, I have a mission for you. I want every Telvani who owns a territory to send a mouth to the council. I will attend to it right away, Arch Magister. Good luck with Elmeni in the mask. Uvu. Uvu, okay. Means we're off the day gone fell. Luckily, we have a quick way of getting there these days. I think we want to go over here, don't we? Yep. Ah, oh, another lovely day up here in the northernmost arse end of the wilderness. Got nothing against the arse end of the wilderness. It's a nice enough place once you get to know it. Do you know what I'm going to do, actually? I'm going to change this to our fancier, bigger version. There we go. Might as well. It only makes sense. Right. Master Uvu. Really should hockey levitate as well, actually. Use it often enough, don't I? In fact, yeah, that's let's see, that's that's seven, six. So six can now be levitated from now on. Lovely. Alright, so where's Uvu guys? This has got to be the only tower that goes down to begin with. It's a bit weird. I say, Ubu, where are you? You better not still be in Pergamea. Okay, good, he's here. Greetings, Archmagister. I believe I haven't properly thanked you for promoting me to Master. I will do my best to prove myself worthy of that title. Thank you for your trust. Yes, I'm here about this magical mask. Oh, you've come for the mask. I made a bargain with the mirror. You'll find it quite sufficient for your needs. I'm sure you'll be successful with the tool, Arch Magister. When you put it on, you'll instantly resemble the ghost of Vedum Dren. Use it well, Arch Magister. This one Are we really going to do the whole Christmas carol thing on Ilmeni? Because this is an absolutely bonkers, ridiculous plan. This is just... <laughs> It's time I give it a try, okay. Well, this better not be a trap. I'd look very silly if I was usurped by being convinced to wear a magical mask that instantly killed me. Uh, mask of Namira, here we go. Constant effect chameleon 30% on itself. Oh, bells! I mean, we're not wearing his ebony armor, but... That's a damn clever bit of kit. All right. Um... I, I, I just did give it a try, but... Um, I'm trying to figure out what I should do now. Should I go back to my advisor? I, I, I What am I supposed to be doing? Am I just, like, appearing as, as his ghost to talk to Elmeni? What am I... What are we, What's, what's, what is what is going on? What's the plan here, guys? All right, I guess that is the plan. Let's give it a try, I suppose. All right, let's quick save. Pop the thing on. 
Greetings, O Royal Highness. Would you deign to reveal your true countenance? I know that the Duke is dead, so don't try to play tricks on me. <laughs> All right, good. Uh, recall. Ooh, I am the ghost of Duke Dren. Nobody will greet with unnecessary chit chat when you're disguised as Duke Dren's ghost. Okay, good. He is speechless. I really should have spent more time with my father, but how was I supposed to know that he'd... Why do you look like him? And you are so ethereal. Yes, my dear, I am your father. Or rather, his ghost. His, his ghost? But why? I thought I bound you into the ghost fence. You did, but the wise spirits there spoke of my duty to protect you, so I have returned. To protect me? From whom? To protect you from many enemies that you will face. I don't believe you are ready for the horrors of politics. Not just yet. Why? I don't understand. You spoke of my perfect competence. You have my complete confidence, so many, but there are dangerous political enemies that wish to harm you. Political enemies? I don't understand. You mean one of the other factions poses me harm? Indeed. The Kimono Tong organized my death. My own brother, your uncle, among others. I know. He's being brought to the mainland to face trial, and the guards are currently interrogating the rest of the Kamonotong. And that won't yield any success. You see, I believe it was the work of Imperial nobles and contractors who were working secretly with the Kamonotong. But that means that the Empire has the Kamonotong in its pocket. And if the Kamonotong is in the Imperial pocket, and if House Lalu accepts plenty of bribes from the Empire, then it is an Imperial conspiracy. Indeed. Lalu, the Tong, and the Imperials all working together to undermine Morrowind. And it does not stop there. We must act quickly if we are to stop this massive coup d'etat. Oh, Father, I simply cannot deal with this. If only Mother were here, she would lead me on the right path. It feels wrong listening to you alone. Do you think that I need to take her other counsel here? Yes and no, dear Elmini. Trust my guidance. Trust in Demania and Gallus Drenim in the Grand Council Chambers. The Telvani have a surprising amount of wisdom. Only they can be truly trusted. That's my impression too. In these troubled times, I find Telvani friends standing at my side, encouraging me and watching my back. Very well then. I shall place my faith completely with you, Father, and Demania. You look tired. Find rest. If you discover anything more on the politics of Vardenfell, let me know. I just want you to understand, Daddy. I love you. Thank you for being here. It was so sudden, and now you are back. It is so strange. I shall have to get used to it, I suppose. <laughs> Woof. Puff of smoke. There we go. Chops a good one. <laughs> How delightfully silly. All right. <laughs> That was good. <laughs> uh, I know Frathus has used disguises in the past, but that definitely trumps them all. That was incredible. Greetings, Arch Magister. The new mouths have arrived. They have already taken up their duties in the Council House. They would like to meet you. After that, please travel to Ebonheart once more. Demania would like to con congratulate you in person. And there's something more she'd like to discuss with you. Jolly good. I wonder if Dem Demira's going to want this mask back at some point. I'd like it if she took it off my hands, frankly. It's a bit of an incriminating <laughs> thing to just have around the place, isn't it? All right. Aha, uh -huh, yes, it's been expanded a bit. We've got more more mouths in here now. Runala Arathon. Mouth of Mistress Rathosa. Mouth of Master Uvu. Mouth of Master Arian. You also represent his surrogate Edwina. Uh huh. Mouth of Mistress Dratha. Yes, she's the man hating one. If I recall. Fast Eddie. How you doing, Eddie? Uvilas. Mouth to mouth of Master Neloth. Yes, he's one of the original ones still around. And he is mouth to Skink. Though he doesn't consider himself a Telvani master, he sent me to the Council of, out of friendship and loyalty to you, Fathis. That is the highest commendation that an Argonian has to give. Consider yourself honoured. You have found a loyal ally. We also have Avon Olin. 
mouth to Master Ranos and Mistress Budrusa. And Enart Relith, who is mouth of Baladas, of course, yes. We still have a couple of empty platforms, I think. Yeah. Still, not bad. I think I've more or less welcomed you now. On that note. Um, yeah. I think we're good now? Not sure. Um, yes, let's go find Demania, shall we? Recall. And Divine Intervention. It's a much quicker way of getting to Urban High. I like it. And then Levitate. Right, where's she gone? There you are. Dibania is grinning from ear to ear. Hello, Arch Magister. I've just paid ill many a visit. You should, really should have told me of your plan. I had to bite my lip a dozen times not to burst out in roaring laughter. I've nearly wet myself. She was visited by a father's ghost? That's simply delicious. Oh, how I would have liked to be a fly on the wall. She wipes a tear from her eye and regains her composure. Anyway, there is something I'd like to discuss with you. Since this consulate in Ebonheart is such a success, I'm thinking of converting the Mage's Guild Halls in Balmora and Aldrune into Tilvani consulates. Are you indeed? I didn't really expect Houses Halalu and Redoran to welcome us with open arms, but we could create a little bit of normalcy that way. We could habituate Halalu and Redoran to House Tilvani and maybe obviate tensions that would otherwise pose a severe problem. I have already spoken with Ilmeni, but she is reluctant to present it to the Grand Council. She's concerned that it will arouse more trouble than it might solve. I think she just needs some parental advice on this, don't you? All right. <laughs> Actually, I like this plan of uh, building nice relations, etc., etc. It's going to help us out a lot when we decide to try and make ourselves hortator, isn't it? Um, okay. Um. Let's just save the game before we do this. Oh, no, no funny unique dialogue then. Never mind. Okay. Recall. Oh, it's me again. Oh. Hello, Father. It's good to see you. I've had a discussion with Demania, and I need your advice. She's asking permission to build Talvani consulates in Bal Balmora and Alderun. She thinks that it will improve relations between the houses, but I'm wary that it will instead provoke conflicts. But Demania seems to be a prudent woman. I'm inclined to give it a try. There's more than unite. There's more that unites the houses than there is to, that separates them. You think it's a good idea? I will present it to the Grand Council then. I hope you will be right after all. Vardenfell needs to stand united more than ever before. Hello, Father. I cannot thank you enough for your assistance, but don't worry about me, Daddy. I'm not your little girl anymore. I can take care of myself. I really enjoy your visits, but also want, to find, want you to find peace. You look tired. Go and find some rest. At once, my dear, I shall leave. Where am I going now? Check back with Demania tomorrow. All right. Puff of smoke. Okay, good. Uh, so delightfully daft, isn't it? Alright. 24 hours, go.
We have nothing else to be doing, I'm afraid. So we might as well just wait by resting like that. Because, ugh, yeah. We've reached that point, folks, of the game where there's nothing else left for us to do now except the main quest. And I'm not doing that until we finish this, so... Uh, this poor guy is constantly being visited by ghosts and stuff. <laughs> uh, you love it, don't you? He's minding his own business and then, and then, and then the ghost appears again. Must be the laughing stock of the barracks. They're all just, they're all just like, they're all constantly laughing at him, like, oh yeah, sure, mate, you saw a ghost. Oh yeah, did it come back? Did the ghost come back again? Yeah, sure it did, mate. Sure I like it did. what I see. Hello, Archmagister, I have good news for you. First, I've succeeded in legalizing Uvu's Tower. Dagon Fellows now officially Talvani territory, and there's more. The Grand Council didn't quite embrace Elmeni's suggestion of Talvani consulates in Balmor and Aldruin, but in the end, they were willing to give it a try. We can send our builders to reshape the former guild halls. I've already taken care of the red tape and sent a note to your advisor. He asked to speak to you on that matter. But it well. Off we go again. Greetings, Arch Magister. So you were successful. I didn't expect anything else. I have already sent our builders to Balmora and Aldrune, and they seem to be making progress rapidly. However, our mercenaries did their job a little too well, so that both basements were close to collapse. Our builders have filled them up with soil to stabilize them, but that also means we can only use the overground parts of each guild hall. Uh, that's a shame. That doesn't matter. When will those consulates be completed? Our builders should be applying the finishing touches as we speak. I've already taken the liberty of dispatching our new councillors and some guards to both consulates. Go and take a look if you'd like, and if you and should you should also visit your new daughter, the Duchess, <laughs> once more and assure that she is doing the right thing. All right. See, that's annoying. That probably means the fast travel in Balmora is totally screwed up, along with Alderun. Not that we really use it anymore. We've got the we've got Noir on now, so I guess we don't need Mages Guild fast travel these days. But uh, still, bit of a shame. Right, Alderun. Think. How do we get there? This way. We're back. No. Balmora, I'll do. Okay. Oh, I see it's not got rid of the sign. Talvani Consulate. Maybe we should just I'll just delete that with the console. Okay, that didn't work at all. Oh, whatever, never mind. Interesting. Where is that slave? Mystery of Talara Part 2. May I have this? Thank you. Nice robe. Neryl Sarodin. Welcome to Balmora, Archmagister. Space is rather scarce, but we try not to let it affect this consulate's function. 
The best we we do the best we can, but the local authorities haven't really accepted us as a political institution yet. Right now, we're rather a travel agency to Vardenfell's east coast, and the local population sees us as a perfumery. <laughs> They're practically snatching the bug mask off the shelf. Well, at least we've won over Balmora's ladies. <laughs> Okay, totally good. What about the old rune one then? Where's in Dallas's port like defector? Kind of miss it, Dallas. That was a really nice, nice quest. That one actually, the one within Dallas, and you know, being adopted as part of the the in Dallas family in the tomb and everything. That was uh, oddly touching, actually. I really liked that one. Alderaan, here we go. So, the Mage's Guild. Such as it was, anyway. Got the banner up there. Hmm. Yes. Slightly less tidy job on this one, lads. No more supply chest. <laughs> Hello, Moral Redorus. Welcome to our humble abode amongst these honour-ridden barbarians. I know, I know, I shouldn't talk like that. But you should have heard the locals when we opened this consulate. Mushroom huggers was one of the friendlier terms. It's not so much, not much of a consulate yet. Redoran's leaders are still too wary to even be seen near us. Currently, I'm trying to get in via the back door, so to speak. I've made a lot of contacts with the leading family servants and guards. I'm confident that this will rub off on their masters, maybe even in a literal sense. I'm giving away lots of bug musk samples. <laughs> so you sell stuff. Yeah, you sell the bug musk. <laughs> Excellent. I'm going to see some of the profits from this. <laughs> Fathis' Telfani bug musk empire. Oh, I love it, man. I love it. It's so daft. All right, okay, where are we going next? We're back, going, going to have another chat with Demania, I think, wasn't it? Something like that. Oh, that levels my destruction, does it? Fair enough. Okay, um, Ebonheart. Ebonheart, now that it takes you to Mournhold. Ebonheart's over here, isn't it? There we go. Hello, Archmagister. Elmeni has had a long and tiring day. That is the perfect opportunity for her father to visit her and reassure her she is on the right path. Aha. Right. Jolly good. I shall get myself ready. <laughs> Apply the makeup, so to speak. Okay. I'm just waiting for Elmeni to turn around and be like, Ha! I had you figured out this entire time, Archmagister. Now you're going to pay. I wouldn't. I almost wouldn't be surprised if it did happen. Almost yourself, yeah. Okay. Hello, Father. I'm sorry I didn't recognize you at once. It's been a long day and I'm tired. That is all right, Elmeni. I have come to say goodbye. You are a strong woman and you will make me as proud as a as Duchess. You will make me proud as Duchess of Vardenfell. In fact, you already have. Goodbye? Does this mean I won't see you again? Oh, listen how selfish I sound. I just wish you would still be around. I understand you, Elmeni, but I will always be around and I will. I will be there for you when you really need me, but I'm dead, and I feel that I need some rest. Thank you, Daddy. I won't forget you. I'll, I'll always be grateful for your help. Find some rest now. Goodbye, Daddy. I love you. Goodbye, my dear. Goodbye. <clears throat> be a good time for the ring to actually work now. Thank you. There we go. Fucking hell. <laughs> uh been a 
seen out of the Muppets that. Jesus. This whole affair has taken a lot of time it has, actually, yes. I'm sure the council's come up with something new to bother me with bother me with by now. Yes. Never ends, does it, Liz? We're already past the point where the original mod actually finished, by the way, folks. I'm pretty sure. The final quest was the one where you assassinate Vadim Dren, so... Greetings, O Royal Highness. Would you... Thank you for the reminder. That's better. Greetings, Arch Magister, and welcome back to Sadrath Mora. You've been visiting Ebonheart so often that some masters have jokingly begun to refer to you as Duke Fathersall from the Fartenfeld. Don't give me ideas, all right? But it really paid out. You did it. Remember how it started? We merely had a plan to increase our influence in Vardenfell, and now we can truly say we control it all. Astonishing. House Telvani controls it all. It sounds so incredible. If you want to affect Vardenfell policy, simply wear the disguise and visit sweet, pathetic Ilmeni. You control it all, Arch Magister. What do you want to do? Have we done it? Is it over? Apparently the council is very pleased with the results of my work. They actually made me their current focus. It feels good to take the center stage and being praised for it. For a change. My advisor agrees with me that we've risen to the heights of which no other faction on Vardenfell has even dreamed of. We have complete dom domination, albeit from the shadows. But I hardly think that is a problem when you have an impregnable hold over the Duchess of the Grand Council. We are supreme. Across Vardenfell, as new lords got settled into their towers, as Bug Musk's sails rocketed to hitherto unseen levels, as the employees of Teldwameris braced themselves for the next inevitable disaster, and corporate zombies mindlessly bumped their heads against the force field outside Skink's fortress, Fathis put his feet up. On the dining table, specifically, Fathis, Ed, and the rest of the tower staff had organised a special meal in the dining room to informally celebrate their recent successes on the field of politics. This wasn't an event that happened very often in Tel Uverith, principally because Fathis was simply too busy, but also because, as they discovered, the rather complicated logistics involved in Salmima actually transported the meals all the way up to the dining room while levitating made the whole affair a lot trickier than might be imagined. Now, however, it was all finished. Most of the plates were cleared away, and all but Fathis and Ed had left the table. The Archmagister, for his part, was, as previously described, resting with his feet up on the table edge as he leaned back in his chair, puffing thoughtfully on his pipe. Ed was absentmindedly chewing on one last leaf of scrib cabbage and eyeing the expensive silverware. Eventually, Ed felt the need to break the silence that had settled over the scene. So, Archmagister, what's next? Fathis raised a shrewd eyebrow. Well, I'm sure we can arrange some dessert. Ed grunted. <laughs> Very droll, Archmagister. Fathus removed a little brass tamping tool from his pocket and began gently tapping it into the bowl of his pipe. Hortator, Ed, he said simply. Ah, oh, said Ed. Yes, said Fathus. He took his feet off the table and reached over to the shelf behind him for a heavy leather-bound tome. It plopped onto the table with a substantial thud. I've been doing my research, he continued. It seems to be a rather simple process, really. Just a majority vote from the councils of each great house and the job is done. There doesn't appear to be much more to it. No uh, walking across hot coals or anything, then, mused Ed. Nothing of the sort, apparently. Procuring the votes will be an interesting business, I'm sure, but aside from that, it's a very practical affair. Not so much as a coronation or a fancy crown in sight. Ed mulled this over for a moment. Well, I guess it makes sense. The Hortator's a war leader, right? Stands to reason that in a time of crisis you've got to name one pretty sharpish without standing on ceremony. Indeed, murmured Fathis, anxiously tapping his fingers on the leather cover of the legal text in front of him. 
And you think such a moment of crisis is upon us, said Ed, with the merest whiff of scepticism. Indeed, repeated the Archmagister. From outside the thick mushroom walls, the whistling roar of a blight storm could still be faintly heard, and in the brief moment of silence, it underlined his point quite effectively. It might not be the usual kind of war, Ed, but it still is one, make no mistake. I've been inside the ghost fence. I've seen what's actually going on in there. What's coming for us? Ed steepled his fingers and chose his next words carefully. I suppose it's entirely a coincidence that as things currently stand, you, my lord, are now the only public figure anyone might consider competent enough for the job. Fathis offered only a bone-chilling smile in reply, before nonchalantly picking up a dessert spoon from the table. Up for one last course? Ed snorted with amusement. Huh. I suppose I don't have a choice. 